The Parshiraja Archaeological Museum at East Hill, Bangalore is one of the important archaeological museums under the Department of Archaeology, Kerala. The museum was established in the year 1978. It was expanded in 1998 to include archaeological finds of the department's extensive exploration and excavations in the Malabar region. A scientific basis for archaeological researches in Kerala was formed during the British colonial rule. The renovated museum unveils the history of Malabar based on archaeological researches carried out by the British. The museum is one of the largest archaeological museums in Malabar, displaying artifacts from the prehistoric times to colonial period. The building which houses the Parshiraja Archaeological Museum was once known as East Hill Bangalore and also as the Collector's Bangalore. The Malabar province occupied by Mysorean forces under Tipu Sultan was ceded to the British East India Company in 1792 as per the Treaty of Sri Rangapatana. It was organized as a district under the Madras Presidency. The collector of Malabar resided in West Hill, Bangalore until 1855 when Hesri Konoli was murdered here. The resident of Malabar collector was then shifted to the East Hill, Bangalore, with henceforth begin to be known as the Collector's Bangalore. The building was constructed in the early decades of 19th century was initially used as a criminal trial court under trial prisoners were kept in the cell. It came under the possession of Bellal, the collector of Malabar. He handed over the building to N.C. Gruger, the collector, in 1874. N.C. Gruger sold it to William Logan. The period from 12th to the 16th century was a time of many events in the history of Kerala. One was the disintegration of the Chera kingdom of Mahodayapuram, which had suzerainty over Kerala. Though loosely named, the Chera king had exerted some sort of authority over Naduvaris. It has been identified that there were 13 Nadus during the Chera period. After the fall of Chera dynasty, the Nadus become strong and independent political forms in due course, some which had already attained a certain level of socio-political development, become powerful kingdoms while others were reduced to insignificance. The Portuguese, the Dutch, the French and the English established their trading ports on the Malabar coast between 1500 and 1800. The Indo-European trade was different from the earlier trade with the West Asia and created a new socio-economic environment. The Portuguese, who were the first European powers to reach Kerala, established a factory at Kannur and later constructed the first European fort in Malabar. Chaliam near Kulkud was another area under Portuguese power and they built a fortress here. The French established a base at Mahi and the English established a center at Talashiri. Later, the English constructed a fort at Talashiri town. A Dutch fleet under Admiral Stephen Van der Hagen had arrived at Kolkata in November 1604 and concluded a treaty with the Samudiri. The Dutch could not, however, stay for long. The English established a factory at Kolkata in November 1669. A French condor was opened at Kolkata in 1701.
By about 1756-57, the Samudri had taken possession of some properties of the Raja of Palakkad, naming it Naduvattam. Kumuachin, the Raja, sought out the help of the King of Mysore, who then asked Hyder Ali, the forger of Dindigal, to help him. Hyder dispatched an army under Mukudam Ali, who pushed back the army of the Samudri. The decisive element in the engagement was the slavery. Samudri sued for peace. In 1761, Hyder Ali ascended the throne of Mysore and marched to Northern Kerala in 1776 after subjugating Kadathanadu. He made himself master of Kolkata. By 1774, Hyder was able to establish his authority over Malabar. The Hyder Ali lost all territories except Palakkad as part of the intervention of the British who realized the presence of Mysore army in Malabar would be detrimental to the colonial interest. With the annexation of Malabar by the English East India Company in 1792, a centralized system of governance was established under colonial rule. A chief magistrate was appointed for the whole of Malabar with headquarters at Kurikode. In 1801, Malabar became a district of the Madras Presidency. In 1802, Judicial and executive functions were separated. Silla courts were established in Talashiri and Kurikod. Later, Munsef courts to deal with the civil cases and magistrate court to deal with the criminal ones were established at the taluk level with the district court as a higher authority. The high court as the supreme authority was set up at Madras. Thank you.